Okay, let's show you how I created these awesome photos. This is the first one that we're going to edit, and I'm going to show you how quick and easy we're going to do this. First off, I want to create this beam of light which is coming from the sky and it's hitting her face and her body. And the best tool to do that with inside Luminar Neo is the Sunrays tool. So here it is. Now what you want to do is get the sun center and place it in the corner of the image. Place it a bit further back so it doesn't look like it's starting right at the edge. And then when that happens, we can push up the amount slider and you'll see that it's creating this light effect coming from the corner. Now we want this to be a bit longer because at the moment it's not hitting a body. So I'm pushing the sun ray length up and then that's now reaching her. I'm going to change the penetration here so that you can see that the actual light beams change and it becomes more of a full singular beam. That works a lot better for this effect. Now let's come down and what we want to do is we want to take the number of rays, sun rays down and then this is going to give less of a wide effect to the actual beam. Currently we have a black and white image and we've got a warm sunbeam so let's get rid of that colour by bringing the warmth down. And now using randomize we can make this beam change in shape and size and really make it fit the image that we're trying to make it work with. Okay that looks good about there, I'm really happy the way this is looking but now we need to work on the colour because it's black and white and we want to create this midnight blue kind of look. Switching off sun rays, let's go to toning. Let's go to shadows because we're going to call out or tone the shadows. Push the saturation up. Drag the U or the call out of blue. And then do the same with the highlights. Highlights, saturation up. Grab the hue and then bring this to over here, which is blue. If you think this edit's cool and you would like to create this yourself in a few minutes, there is a really nice deal at the moment you can get on Luminar Neo. Link is in the description. You can get a big saving on that. And also make sure you use my voucher code as well, which is next to the link for an extra 10% off. Next up, we've got this cool alien world. It looks like Mars or something. This is a great backdrop to create an image for. So what we're going to do with this is we're going to add another layer up here on the left hand side. And this layer, we're going to introduce a woman. So we're going to click on this and this will be introduced to the scene. Now at the moment, she looks a bit ghostly because she's kind of translucent or you can see through her. So we're going to change that by pushing up the opacity and making her whole again. Now we're going to drag her down and we're going to just play around with the size a little bit until we get it where we need it to be. I'm going to drag it over here. I think putting her in this gap is going to be a great place for her. Back onto her layer there. And then let's just position her a bit better. Now I'm quite happy with where she is and the size of her in the image. But this, the size of this image and the overall image is all wrong. We've got way too much room on the right hand side. How do we fix it? Well, I'm going to come back onto the bottom layer and I'm going to crop it. So crop the layer. I'm going to choose a ratio of four by five. And then I'm going to drag this over and put it in place. Okay, let's press apply. Now we've already got a cool looking image, but there is plenty more we can do with it. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to go ahead and create a bit of atmosphere in the background. I'm going to do that using the atmosphere tool, aptly named. I'm going to press on this and then I'm going to use the effect, which is, well, let me go for mist. I'm going to push up the mist here and you can see that it's adding mist into the background. Now I'm going to bring the depth down a little bit. And what that's going to do is it's going to create less of an effect up there because I really like the look of this planet uh, and the sun. So I don't want to cover that up. Let's just have a look quickly at the before and after. It just adds a little bit more kind of atmosphere and depth to the image. Now we've done that, I want to add a bit of a blur to the image so we can create a foreground and background. We've got this lady super sharp in the foreground. We want to create a blur in the background so we can create more of a distance. Now, surprisingly, I'm going to use the blur tool. But first, I'm going to go on to the layer I need, which is this one already on it. Click blur. And then I'm going to go to tilt shift. Pushing up the amount now. You can see we've got this blur effect at certain parts in the image. It's way too strong, so I'll bring that down. And about there's good. 
but it's not in the right areas because our subject or model is perfectly in focus and then the background right behind her is blurred so it doesn't look correct. So let's place the blur center where we need it. So I'm going to remove the blur from the bottom here. I'm going to do that by just dragging this whole thing down from the middle. And then as you can see, I've removed the blur from the bottom, but the blur, the tilt shift blur is showing up at the top. Now I just want to make this a little bit higher because it's making too much of the background blurred. And there we go. Now we'll take a step back and we can have a look at this. This is the before and this is the after. Now there is one thing which is very obvious that needs changing and that is the lady. She looks great in the scene but currently the colour is wrong. So let's change it. We're going to go onto this layer, go to tone which is under the creative tab, go to shadows and now we're going to make this lady more red and change the colour of her so she matches the background. Pushing up saturation, changing the U a little bit and then doing the same with highlights push up the saturation and the U. And now you can see that she matches the color of the background a lot better. So we've now got this awesome composite image which actually looks really good on its own, but I've saved the best till last. The third image is my favorite, so stay tuned, let's jump into it. So with this background here that I've got, remember all these photos are in the description of the video, jump into the folder there and you can download them and use them yourself. But with this image, I want to turn it black and white. So I'm going to start by doing that. Convert to black and white. Then I'm going to add another layer and add in another lady. So I'm going to pop her in here. Once again, push up the opacity. She becomes visible. Now let's drag her down to get her into position where we need her. So we're going to kind of put her at the forefront here, just at the start of this path and then make her a little bit bigger. Okay, so there's a few problems that we need to fix. Straight away, they don't match. So let's make sure we turn her black and white. Just gonna press on the black and white layer there and convert to black and white. And now she matches, but the brightness is not right. I'm gonna come off black and white and I'm going to make a change now, just in the develop tab. I'm gonna bring down the contrast so there's less contrast between the highlights and the shadows and now she looks more flat like the background. I'm going to push the shadows up a little bit just to make those brighter and then just push up the exposure overall to make the whole of her lighter. She now matches the scene a lot better. So let's get to colouring. So let's start with the background layer. We want to colour this first. I'm going to go ahead and use the tone. Clicking on tone here. Now I'm going to start with the shadows, push those up in saturation, change the hue, and we're going to give it this kind of yellowy orange hue to make it look like antique and like a painting. I'm just going to do that with the shadows in this one and then swap over to the lady. Now I'm going to go down to toning with her and I'm going to do the same thing. Push up the saturation, bring up the hue. And now her color is matching the background. There's two things left to do. The first thing I want to do is add a mystical look to the background. I'm going to just make sure I'm on the right layer here. Go down to the mystical tab and then push this up and watch the background change. It gives it more of a fantasy look and appeal. Now finally, let's just go ahead with this background layer and add a vignette just to darken the edges and really put the attention on the lady in the background. Let's press on that. Bring the amount down. And there we go. I hope this video has showed you how easy it is to make changes to images when you're using the right kind of software. We've used AI editing in this and we've been able to make changes in a few minutes per image and you guys can do this too. Remember to jump in the link if you want to get Luminar Neo. There is a voucher that you can use, which is mine, to get 10% off. But you'll also get more off as well using the link as there is a deal on at the moment. I hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. I hope you've really found this entertaining. Make sure you hit subscribe and hit the like button. And I can't wait to see you in the next one.